For fast, cheap, and reliable NBA 2K19 MT, visit the link down below in the description and use code MASSIVE for 5% off all orders. So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K19. In today's video, we're going to be doing another one of the Trading Every Player Rebuilds today. Using the Los Angeles Clippers, this team was highly requested in my last one of these, which came out yesterday. Also, everybody, happy April 1st. Happy! I was going to do a dumbass April Fool's joke where I'm like, oh, I'm retiring from YouTube, but it just wouldn't have been funny and it would have been way too fucking obvious, so... That didn't end up happening. This is going to be a real video, so happy April to everybody. So uh, this Clippers team is actually interesting. I low-key thought they were going to be a lottery team um, to honestly start the 2018-2019 season, and they've kind of just been nothing but that. They've been actually a really solid, really decent team. They got Zubak in a trade where they traded Mike Muscala, and I, I shot on the trade so much for the Lakers' point of it. I was like, you have a young center who like nobody thought was going to be anything, and then he kind of like turned himself into something then you still move them because you think you can compete for the championship. Well, the Clippers are in the playoff hunt, I believe. Are they? I, I mean, I'm honestly not going to, I'm not going to do this and sound like a dumbass. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm looking at NBA stand. I'm like 90% positive they are. But if I'm sounding like a total idiot right now, I'm, I'm going to be pretty mad at myself. Uh, I believe they are. Come on, hear me out. Clipper, yeah, they're the sixth seed. Okay, I knew I was right. I was like, I'm pretty sure they're in the playoff hunt, but I'm not positive. Uh, okay, so you traded... A young center on a rookie contract who has way more potential than Mike Muscala. For Mike Muscala, because you won, what, a three-point shooter? I saw a stat that Mike Muscala had more DNPs, which means did not play, than three-pointers. Like, that is absolutely insane. But for the rest of this team, uh, it's pretty interesting. They had two first-round picks last year. They had Shai Gilgis, Alexander, and then where the hell is he? Uh, Jerome, oh, wow, he's really low overall. Jerome Robinson. So they will all be gone, unfortunately. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to move Gallo up to a small four. He goes up to an 89. Yeah, maybe it's cheating the system a little bit, but I'm not going to complain. Um, so we'll just start out with a bang, Gallo. Also, if you don't know the way these work, basically you have to trade everybody on the roster, and everybody on the roster right now cannot be on the championship team uh, by the end of the video. So uh, Kemba Walker right off the bat is interesting. I wouldn't mind paying him some money this offseason. Uh, oh, D'Angelo Russell, I'm low-key probably going to go with. Haven't gotten him in a minute, and I'm not seeing any other better offers. So, let's pick up D'Lo. Uh, it's a straight-up trade, so I will not be complaining there. Um, D'Angelo Russell, absolutely breakout season for him. Proving to the Lakers that they should not have traded him. Also, I think I'm coming out with... I'm trying to figure out which Lakers video I should do next. I'm either going to do a what if the Lakers didn't trade D'Angelo Russell or a trading LeBron and James video. I kind of want to do them both. I just got to see which one you want first. So if you can let me know which one of those you would rather see first down below in the comments section, uh, it would be much appreciated. So Lou Williams and Montreal Harrell are going to be our next two trade pieces. Also, if you couldn't tell, I am getting a little bit sick. It is tremendously unfortunate. But it is happening, so I really can't do much about it. Ooh, Victor Oladipo and Bogdanovich. This team's actually low-key going to be pretty good. Um, I can get Boogie and Donkey. All right. Like, that is a good trade. I mean, Boogie is an 80. If Boogie was like a 90, I would do this without a doubt. Draymond's just like, he's just a donkey. I'm sorry. I know you guys like it when I call him. He's just going to suck, like, honestly. And I feel like taking this Old Depot and Bohong Bo Bogdanovich trade is better because Lou Will regresses horribly in this game. Harold will put up good numbers, but I mean, we're getting Victor Old Depot and an 83 overall small forward. Like, I really cannot complain. So, point guard and shooting guard set for the video. Uh, Zubak and Jamichael Green at this point. I do need two new centers, or I need one new center and one new power forward, two new members of my front court. So we kind of swap some front court members here. That would be obviously ideal. Um, wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a trade and picking up Hassan Whiteside. The guy puts up numbers. He's an 83 overall. Yes. And he's going to accept his player option. But the man puts up numbers. All right. Let's do Shy Gilgis. Where the hell is he? Jerome Robinson and Tyrone Wallace. Actually, no, there's definitely somebody. Actually, you know what? We'll just do these two and see if I can get a pretty good young power forward. Ty oh no not Tyrone Wallace no I want to do Jerome Robinson see what sort of small for excuse me power forward I can get offered three stars and two stars oh my god dude I get John Collins so much that I'm like kind of hesitant on doing it but this is such a good trade I can also get Adebayo DeAndre Jordan you know what I can get Sabonis just because I get John Collins a shit ton I'm gonna pick up Sabon DeMontis Sabonis I'm going to do it. I literally get John Collins so much, and I do want to switch it up a little bit. Sabonis is easily able to play power forward, so I'm going to move him to there. So starting five is all set at this point. Collison's going to be our backup point guard. Beverly, I hate moving because I like him. Uh, and Landry Shemet, who they also got from the 76ers, I believe. I think. I'm not pausing that one. Chris Dunn, low-key, could be a good backup. Bro, like what? 
Why is it so easy? I'm not going to do it. Like, it's so tempting. Uh, Willie Colley Stein. I actually really like that trade. Uh, ooh, Deontay Murray and Jakob Pertl. That is it. We're getting some good ass trades. Um, Murray's 6'5, so he can easily play the backup shooting guard spot for me. So let's just see right now. Um, backup big man. All right. Luke and Bamute moving down to a small forward. His overall should jump like, yeah, four points. So Luke and Bamute, uh, and we're going to do Wilson Chandler for probably a backup small forward. And then we should be pretty much all set. Um, I could go Chris and Billy Hernan Gomez. That works. And I'm going to now move Hernan Gomez down to the power forward position. Uh, not Magruder. Was Magruder on this? No, Magruder is not on this team in real life. I don't think so. Um, I guess I'll just try. I mean, I'll, I'll move them. They're never going to be in the rotation. It, it literally won't matter at all. So if somebody wants to give me a pick of some sort, please don't make me do this. Um, Robertson, that's actually literally good defense. Uh, give me a Mon Shumpert in a first round pick. Uh, Shumpert, I can trade at the end of the year. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, I mean, I'll move them. They're literally never going to like a regress to an, or progress to an overall where they could possibly ever play on this team. I'll take Mo Wagner. I'll send him to the G League. Also, did I already say I was getting sick? Yeah, I did say I was getting sick. That's why my voice sounds so raspy right now. Uh, if you could not tell. So, Wallace, and then we'll do this Justin Bibbs guy, and that's going to be about it. You don't, oh, I kind of feel bad taking Udonis Haslam, but whatever. So, we're going to send Mo Wagner. No, I didn't mean to edit him. We're going to send Mo Wagner here to the G League, uh, and that is going to be the only guy we send to the G League. So, let me figure out this rotation. 25. Collison's going to play 18. Hernan Gomez, 15. Michael Kidd, Gilchrist. Oh, I need to move Michael Kidd, Gilchrist to small forward. That's that's where the issue lies there. I actually might send Pertle to the G League as well. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, 35 here to the backcourt. Bogdanovich, 32. Sabonis, 33. We'll go 30, actually 34, 34. And then I do want it 26 here, and we'll just give an 11 to Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, who I do want to move to small forward. He actually might jump a bunch of overalls. He jumps up to an 80 overall. That's low-key not bad at all. So, I do want to send... Um, where the hell is he? Jakob Pertl the G League as well. I mean, it can't hurt. Does he have another year after this? Please tell me he does. Oh, uh, yeah. We got another team option, so we should be good. But that is going to the rotation for the first year. D'Angelo Russell, Victor Oladipo, Bohan Bogdanovich, DeMontis Sabonis, and Hassan Whiteside. Off the bench, Deontay Murray, Darren Collison, Billy Hernan Gomez, and Michael Kidd Gilchrist. It's really not that big of a deal. Hernan Gomez can play center, too. He's kind of a power forward, center hybrid, something like that. So... This team's looking really solid. I do have to start at the beginning of the year. The trade deadline has already passed, so I cannot use start today. But I do have pretty high hopes for this team, and I'll see you guys at the end of the first year. So end of season number one, we go 52-30. and 30. James Harden takes home the MVP award. Trey Young balls out rookie of the year. Schroeder, Giannis, Clarkson, and then Tony does get coach of the year. So we end up as a five seed. Honestly, thought we might be a little bit better, but you know what? Five seed, I can live with it in the first year. I mean, we haven't rebuilt this team that much yet, so... Oladipo less than scoring than was Russell. I mean, Whiteside, he's an 83 or 84 overall, but 15 and 13 and a half. I mean, what else can you really expect from a center? I mean, Sabonis balled out as well. Double-double. Bogdanovich, Deontay Murray, I'm sure was unbelievable on defense. So, rebounds as Whiteside. Assist was Russell. So, first round, we are taking on the Utah Jazz. Honestly, we might be a little bit of a better team than them at this point. Not even just going to say that. We're up 3-0 on them. So, I think my theory is kind of coming true right now. They do get a game in there. They get two games in there, actually. They get three games in there. And we end up winning, so we did not blow a 3-0 lead. Holy hell, the Timberwolves beat the Rockets in the first round, and they're now beating us, but we tie it up one game apiece. 2-1, come on, 3-1, and we end up winning in five. I will take, give me Oklahoma City, thank you. Us in OKC. Going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, obviously, we'd prefer them over the Warriors, but they are still a very, very good team. Paul George, Russell Westbrook, both unbelievably fucking good players, so... We are down 3-2. I'm not hopping in anything the first year anyways. We end up losing. Finals is going to be the Thunder and the Celtics. Come on. Give me the Celtics winning it. Come on. Give me some joy, please. Give me some joy. Thank you very much. Kyrie Irving balls out. Wins finals MVP. So, we got to the West Finals in the first year. Not even going to lie. That is way better than I thought we were going to do. So, I'll live with it. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. You got to go. Doc Rivers, uh, I just can't put up with you anymore. You left Boston to not be in part of Are you kidding? Give me an A trainer one fucking time, please. It's so annoying. Oh, God. He left Boston. What I was saying, he left Boston to not be part of a rebuild. And, well, I mean, I guess technically he's not in a rebuild anymore, but the Celtics kind of just hopped over the Clippers, I would say. And I know the comments are going to give me, oh, the Clippers are better than the Celtic. Yeah, okay. Up to the draft right now. Let's see what pick we're chilling with. We end up with the two second round picks. We do not own a first, so give me two future seconds, and that works for me. So 
Mo Wagner is a 77 overall. What are the odds I could potentially trade him? And this Clippers first and this second for like, can I get pick like seven? No, can I get pick five? I'll shoot high. And I'll, I'll load you up with second round picks. You're in the next. There we go. So we now have the fifth overall pick. I'm going to draft somebody there. And I'll see you guys at rookie signing. So we ended up taking Cam Reddish with the fifth overall pick. Pretty much everybody that was better than him did go off the board. I still cannot believe Duke lost. I mean, I feel like it was kind of bound to happen. But whatever. Uh, we're going to bring back Pirtle. I think the only person to decline their option was Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Okay. Like, whatever works for you, man. So there are definitely probably a few guys I do want to get off this team at this point. Um, actually, maybe not really. To be totally fair with you. We're kind of all set. I mean, Whiteside's going to be chilling. I do want to re-sign D'Lo, obviously. Um, we can afford, like, Kyrie. All right. I don't know if I'm going to go after him. It'd be an interesting thing. He's going to accept the Pacers offer over the Celtics. Jimmy Butler still has no offers. How big is the cap hold on D'Angelo Russell? Um, how do, yeah, cap hold. D'Angelo Russell, $14 million. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. So, um, you know what? I'm going to try to sign Jimmy Butler. And then does D'Lo have an offer? DeAndre Russell does not have an offer. So if I renounce the rights on all these guys here, except for D'Lo, I low-key might be able to do this. Yeah, okay. Um, everybody here, okay, like renounce you, renounce you. We're six mil. I need to clear up like eight more million dollars. <sighs> Don't know if that's going to be happening. It would require me trading Cameron Reddish. Could also just be done with trading Whiteside. Like if I can get, I don't even know. I'm trying to think of a cheaper center who's also good. Like, uh, I'm not just going to like swap and not get anything. Steven Adams is making two mil less. Like that's not even enough. All right. Let's see. Player finder center. Um, not making a lot of money. Actually, low key. You know what? Yeah. DeAndre Aiden for Hassan Whiteside. Okay. Yeah. That's never going to happen. Uh, Nurkic. 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 That could be an option. The Trailblazers would require 12 mil more. Give me, give me one of your 418 bad contracts. They want Sabonis. That's not happening. Okay, you can have as many first-round picks to take. You have this Heat first. Actually, Loki has a decent amount of value. And this pick. And this second right here. Come on, for the love of shit. I'll give you one more first. But that's it. Actually, that's not even a real first. I'll give you this first from the Rockets. Are you kidding me right now? There we go. It took way too much. But having Jimmy on this team is obviously going to help. Um, so, not cap holds, trade finder. Get Evan Turner up out of here. First round picks. Thank you, Utah. Should have enough money to do it at this point. Uh, I have to renounce rights on that. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. We still have $7 million. We're bulling. D'Angelo Russell cannot accept a contract. He still does not have an offer. Nope. Do not renounce the rights on him. Jimmy Butler is good. D'Angelo Russell still no offer. We're good there. And Jimmy Butler, welcome to the team. D'Angelo Russell, take this contract, please. Come on, 2K. And nope, not yet. And nope, not yet. And there we go. D'Angelo Russell, welcome back to the team. So Jimmy's going to be playing. Oh, he's already listed as small forward. Word. Jimmy's going to be playing small forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're bulling. And I'll see you guys at the start of season number two of the rotation. So this is what the rotation is going to look like for season number two. D'Angelo Russell, Victor Oladipo, Jimmy Butler, DeMontis, Sabonis, and Yusuf Nurkic. I mean, I would like this team to win the championship, be my final team. Will that happen? Who knows? The bench is looking solid, Murray. Um, the reason I don't have a backup point guard, I know having a backup point guard is super important, but Murray can play point guard, be a combo guard off the bench, playing more than enough minutes. Then it's going to be Hernan Gomez, Jakob Pertl, and Cam Reddish, who can also play shooting guard if he has to. So... Team is looking really solid. Very high hopes once again. Way higher than last year. Let's try to go win a championship. So end of season number two, 63 and 19. A little bit better than last year. Harden MVP, John Morant, rookie of the year for the Dallas Mavericks. Tyreek Evans, six man Giannis, TJ Warren, and Jacob Underwood does win coach of the year. I'm assuming he's our coach. Yes, he is. So we end as the one seed. Hopefully best record in the NBA. Yes, we did. Season stats on the year. Player stats. Ooh, what the fuck am I saying? Let in scoring by Russell, Old Depot, Russell, Nurkic. Wait. Russell, Russell, Butler, Nurkic, Sabonis, Murray. Okay, this team's looking good. Like, I'm pretty excited to see how this team does. Team stats, we can see where we were in scoring points per game. We were fifth, and defense, we were best. Gave us the best differential. Spurs in the first round. Honestly, forget who we gave you for Deontay Murray. Will he even be on your team anymore? Who knows? Side note, Warriors didn't even make the playoffs. That's become a huge thing, and I don't really understand it. Whatever it happens. Uh, we're taking on the Trailblazers here in the next round. We gave them Whiteside for Nurkic and like 18 first round picks, I think. But we're going to get by them. No sweat. 
Works for me. It's going to be us and the Houston Rockets in the West Final. It's going to be Raptors, Celtics over there in the East. One versus two over here and five versus six over there. It's an interesting matchup, but we're up 2-1. Come on, 2-2. Two, two. Don't blow it, please. 3-2, and we get by in six. So us and the Raptors, let's check out their squad. Ooh, they added Mike Conley. Okay, that's low-key a good pickup. Uh, they also have 49-year-old Tony Parker, however how old he is at this point. So we're up 2-0 on them. I think we can win a championship. We're up 3-0, and we sweep them, and D'Angelo Russell balls out and wins finals MVP. So... Pretty good second year. Uh, I'm going to obviously try to build off of that and get one more championship done. There's an A trainer here, so goodbye, Sean Navarro. Welcome to my team. Up to the NBA draft now. Uh, I think I traded pretty much all the picks we had. Yes, we have no picks in this year's draft. Don't even really have to worry about it. So up to team player options now. We have literally nobody. Um, is everybody back? Oh, no. These are three guys I 1,000% need to bring back. Going to be spending a little bit of money here this offseason. Uh, Hernan Gomez as well. Okay, money. Just pay him, pay him, pay him. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford this, to be totally honest with you. Uh, I used all my contracts. Okay, well, we got all these guys back. Hernan Gomez, I'm not renouncing the rights on. You two can go. Uh, I do want to bring back Hernan Gomez. So where is he? Hernan Gomez, four years, $48 million. Uh, They're going to give both of these guys their qualifying offer, it looks like. Okay, I guess you can roll. I mean, I'm going to probably take Sabonis' no trade clause off just because, A, I gave him a contract. You all clearly saw that, and I might want to trade him. So uh, I'm going to do that. If I have a trade, you'll see it. If not, you guys will see me at the start of third and final year. So I decided not to trade Sabonis. I realized, I mean, I don't get him that much. Why not just roll with it? So D'Angelo Russell, Victor Oladipo, Jimmy Butler, DeMontis, Sabonis, and Yusuf Nurkic, same starting five as last year. Won us the championship. Really can't complain. Bent, Deontay Murray, Jakob Pertl, Billy Hernan Gomez, and Cam Reddish. So... This team's looking very interesting, very high hopes. Let's go repeat. So third and final year, and Chris Paul decides to win MVP at the age of 35. Okay, we went 65 and 17. Anthony Edwards, rookie of the year, Abaka, Giannis, RJ Barrett, and Jacob Underwood. Uh, RJ Barrett's on the heat, in case you were wondering. So shout out to our old friend Chris Paul, taking home the MVP award. Uh, 49 wins, got the one seed in the East. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this team was once again really solid. I'm pretty happy I didn't trade Zabonis at this point. Uh, team stats, we led the NBA in scoring. Best defense. Obviously, that gives us the best differential. So it's going to be us and the Timberwolves here in the first round. Don't think it should be too much of a challenge. If I can hop into the end of a game, Jesus Christ, I'm about to burp. <coughs> That's hot. Probably will. So we end up sweeping them. Us and Dallas here in the next round. How long has this video been? 38 minutes. It's actually not even that bad. Um, Huss and Dallas here, and we're up 3-0, and we sweep them as well. Okay, not really that even that worried about at this point. Us and the Utah Jazz. Okay, it's a 3 and an 8 seed over there in the East. Uh, I would be more than happy to beat my home team Celtics, but we should probably beat the Jazz first because we were down 2-0. We can bounce it back two games apiece. Okay, 3-2 just like that. We're on our own. Okay, well, you know, all right, we made it a game. Okay, we're going to win that one. I thought there was no shot we were going to win that one. Uh, the Nets made it to the NBA Finals in the 8th seed. Shout out to you. And we are look like we're blowing out the Jazz here. And we're going to go take on the Jazz in the NBA Finals. Oh, Jazz. We're going to go take on the Nets in the NBA Finals. So we lose game one. We took D'Angelo Russell from you. Like, are you kidding me? The <sighs> There's no way this... Bruh. I'm going to lose it if this team beats us. Like, this is where 2K gets to be like, what the actual fuck? 3-2 here. In Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Come on, please, one time. Bro, this should not be a game. Thank you. Thank you. It's like it shouldn't be like a series in the slightest. We should be sweeping them out of the building. Good lord. Um, no. Don't let me don't I mean, don't blue balls me with this. There's no way we're getting this close and not gonna win. Are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. There's I'm not dealing with this shit, man. I mean, like, for the love of God, like Jared Allen. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. If you guys need to make sure to subscribe, let me know any other video ideas down below in the comment section. The Nets can go fuck themselves. We literally took your franchise player from you and you still beat us. Okay, well, I guess that's karma. Uh, let me know on the Lakers videos that I mentioned at the beginning of the video down below in the comment section as well as any other video ideas. If you guys need to make sure to subscribe, Road to 20K. Go follow me on Twitter. Link's always in the description. I'm so fucking sad and annoyed right now. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.